Hello everyone, this is Raj from Crypto Passive. Today I'm going to show you how to install MetaMask Wallet, um, how to um, get the Binance coin uh, into MetaMask, and then how to use MetaMask to make a trade through PancakeSwap, and how to add a smart token. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to show you all this step by step because um, the last a couple of videos that I've done, I've talked, I've spoken about, um, you know, the tokens and how hot they are currently and how profitable it is. But a lot of you have asked me, hey, how do I get this? How do I buy these? So today I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, let's get on with it. So MetaMask. So you just go into the site here, metamask.io and download this Chrome extension. So it looks something like this. So it's just a, a Chrome extension that shows what you have and so forth. So what we're gonna do today is the first step is, um, there are two types uh, in MetaMask. Uh, it, as far as tokens are concerned, you can either buy it on the ERC20, the Ethereum blockchain, or you can buy it on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to focus mainly on the Binance Smart Chain. And why? Because the Ethereum uh, blockchain, the, the gas fees are so high, sometimes in excess of, you know, $70, $80 for a transaction. So all your profits are lost when you do that. So the better way of doing it is finding some tokens that are on the Binance Smart Chain, which is currently the hottest thing at the moment. So... So the first thing you need to do is once you install MetaMask, uh, the default would be uh, it would be set on the Ethereum ma mainnet. So basically, this would be the default when you install it. So what you need to do is add um, the um, Binance Smart Chain uh, mainnet. So how do we do this? So the first thing we do is we need to click on here and then click on Settings and then click on networks and then click on add a network. Now I've already added one, but I'm just gonna show you how to add this. So you just click on add a network. So this is where you're gonna add the Binance Smart Chain. So under network, you would add this. Now I'm gonna put this description over uh, this information here. So basically what you do is you enter this, enter the network name, the URL is, I don't have a trailing there. So the URL, you just enter that, which is bscdataseed.binance.org. The chain ID is this, so you copy and paste that. And then the currency symbol is BNB. So once you have that, this block explorer URL is optional, so you don't enter that. And then you just click on save. So once you save that, you will see this PSC mainnet. So what you, so I'm gonna cancel that because I've already have this. So BSC mainnet, and over here, what you'll do is, this is your network. All right, so let's just go back. Okay, so now you will see over here, I've got some balance over here, but yours should say zero BNB. Make sure it says BNB, that would be the default. And that's it. So you've got, now you've got the first part set up, which is, and you want to make sure you are on this BSE mainnet. But once you're on that, then you're pretty good. Now, what we need to do is we need to buy uh, some uh, BNB, some Binance coins. So how do we do that? Uh, some people may have, uh, say, an Exodus wallet. They already might have that, but that's, that's a different way of bringing uh, Binance money in, but most people are going to go to the exchange. So what you would do is under Binance, you would click on buy crypto and then you'd click on this. So if you're going to buy it with a credit card, this is what you would do. So you would, you would put the amount that you want to buy. And over here under coins, you would change that to BNB. So once you change that to BNB, you decide what you want to buy. So you buy $20 or whatever. Just remember to transfer, to withdraw, you need at least 0.1 BNB, 
all right so here you would just put some amount here thirty dollars forty dollars fifty dollars whatever you purchase the coins now once you purchase it once your credit card and everything goes through you will come over here to wallet and then over here you click on overview and so this is where your wallet and all your balances are going to be so here i have uh, i have some balance here estimated balance so what you do is so this is the b uh, so in the balance here you just check click on withdraw so when you click on withdraw now you would see i would change this to bnb because this is where i have some balance so now what I'm going to do is I need to change, I need to send this to my MetaMask, right? So what I do over here is I go over to MetaMask. Now, this is what I have, right? So I, I would click here. This is my address. So I copy this, right? And then under recipient's address, I would copy and paste that. Now, the transfer network, now this is very important. What you need to do over here is you need to check this BEP20 because this is the BSE. This is where we are transferring this to your MetaMask. So do not check this. It has to be BEP20. So you check on that and it'll give you a little warning. Say, please confirm again that the network you wish to use is BSE. So this is where it is. So the amount, so in this case, okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna transfer 0.5 BNB. So I'll put 0.5. So the transaction fee you can see is very little. Uh, so it's not much at all because uh, the transaction fees usually um, on the Binance Smart Chain is usually a couple of bucks, no more than that. So it, it's very, very reasonable. So once I hit submit over here, it's going to give me, okay, so now it's asking me to send this verification code, phone verification, email verification. So I better do that because I'm doing this live to show you how it works. So go over here and, and that's that, right? So we will go over here and enter that. And then I'll have to wait for the email verification to come because uh, what this is, it's got 2FA. So you got to make sure that all of this information before you do any withdrawals or deposits, it'll ask you for a phone verification and then it'll ask you for an email verification. So in this, I'm just going to add this code here and off we go. Right. And then just click on submit. So now it is said that it has sent, it, the request has been submitted. So now I'll have to see what it says over here. So 4.46 and then very soon I should have this balance now go up to five point something. So as soon as this goes through, it takes a little bit of time for the balance to go through. So we need to give it a bit of time because it's not always instant because once they process it, it just takes a bit of time for it to hit. And once once this is sent, you, you should get another email saying that, hey, you know, the money has been sent. So while we're doing this now, that's it. So the, the process is done. You should have a balance over here and now you are ready to make some kind of a trade. So once you make this trade, so let's see. Now I've, I've for, for an example, this is a, a token over here called a Zeppelin. So Zeppelin is a token. So this is what it is, right? So I want to put some money into this. So how do I do this? So I'll have to use buy now, and then this will take me to pancake swap. So before we make a trade, now it over, see over here it says token imported. So this anyone can create a BP token on a BSC. So it'll give you a confirmation here that you want to add this as a coin. So, but we need to get this 
a token address to add it in a custom token. See, this is very, very important step. So what you'll do is you click on here and then you will click on the contract. And then over here, the contract, you will copy this address, right? So once you copy this, this is the contract address. You will need to add a custom token here, right? You see, this has now shown. So that 0.5 has been added already, okay? So what you need to do is come over here and add a token. This is very, very important. And then click on custom token. We've just copied this. And as soon as you paste this, it should give you the symbol name. So that's a Zeppelin, that's decimals, and then you just click on next, and this is the token, and you could click on add token. Now you'll see the zero Zep. So now you've added this token. Now we've got to buy this token. So how do we do that? We just go into pancake swap. Now we say, I understand, and then continue. So now we have Zep here, right? Now we have the balance from this BNB. So what, what am I gonna do? Let's put, say, I don't know, I'm just gonna put, I don't know, 0.2 in there. Um, now, before you make this transfer, for it to succeed, you need to click on here and change the slippage, right? So this slippage now is at 0.8%. Usually, you know, their website will say, you see, 12% is a slippage. So what you do is come over here and change this to 12, right? And then now you will have the slippage here tolerance at 12% like they've asked you to. And I want to transfer 0.2 BNB. So I'm just showing this to you as an example. I should get this many tokens, right? And all I have to do now is click on swap. So now it's asking me to confirm the swap. It'll say, it's saying that I'll get 2072, 300,000 ZEP tokens. Price, it keeps updating because you know it's live rates. So you just say accept and then confirm the swap. Now when you confirm the swap, MetaMask is gonna ask you to confirm this, right? So you just press confirm and let's see if the ZEP is added. Now this, when it goes through, this should show my tokens in here. So we'll just, ah, there we go. So I didn't get the expected, um, you see, so it was supposed to be 207, but it, it did say that you would get up to that. So it depend it depends on the market price. So uh, what I got was one eight six seven three nine zero zero zero, and that's exactly what it shows over here. And this zip, and that's exactly what I've got. So it got there within I don't know uh, less than a minute, and the transaction just went through. So now I have this many uh, zips. So the important thing over here is make a note of this, right? Put it down in under notes or somewhere that you've made this purchase because this keeps updating. So it's, the way you check your profits is now you write this number down and then come back tomorrow, have a look. And if you've made a profit, this number would be up, be up to 187, 188, 190, depending on how hot the token is. That's how you profit from here. Now, if you want to sell this, what you will do is you'll do the reverse and you will say swap, and then you'll swap this. All you do is change that. Say you want to go this back to BNB, swap it back, and then you'll get your BNB. So that's how easy it is. But there are important steps to do. And the important step is the main thing is in MetaMask, you need to set up the BSC mainnet. That's number one. Before you do this pancake swap, you need to make sure you add the custom token, get the contract address, copy and paste it there, make sure it shows the token name. And then the next step would be, the final step would be to come to pancake swap and then do that swap 
and then you're done. That's it, that's how easy it is. And now that you have a balance with this, so for example, now that you've got BNBs on here, no problem at all because any other thing now goes, everything can be done through MetaMask and it's very, very simple to buy a uh, add a custom token, get a contract address, what number of coins you wanna buy and boom, you're done. That's it, that's how simple it is. But it's just that few steps that you need to do to make sure you do it right. And I hope that I've covered that step from MetaMask to adding the BSC to going to PancakeSwap and then getting that. But make sure you, you know, make a note because these numbers change. Uh, it changes, you know, they just keep changing. And then you can see what kind of profits you've made from here because these are these these change live. You can see it, you know, like every you know every minute, every thirty seconds, you'll see it updating, and then you'll say, "Wow, you know, this has changed," you know, and then you can see you've made a profit or not. So that's it, guys. So if you have any questions, uh, please. Um, uh, Please join our Telegram group. I'm happy to help you. I'm happy to go through this process with you. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, in the description, I'll have the information on how to add the, the BSC mainnet, the, all the information that you need. And if there's any other questions, feel free to ask. So thank you for listening to this video.